This is Christian from Langchain. Many LLM providers now ship their own native tools. Not just generic function calls, but tools the model is specifically trained and tuned to work with, like Anthropic's computer use, web search, bash, or memory tools. With the latest version of Langchain's Anthropic and OpenAI provider packages, we expose these simple provider tools so that you can call these model-optimized tools seamlessly and type-safe with your agent, without hand-rolling any JSON schemas or glue code. In this video, I will show you how you let your model take control of your browser to play tic-tac-toe against you. I'm using Anthropic's computer use model and its native tool, wired through WebJava.io to give the AI real control of my browser so it can literally play tic-tac-toe against me on the screen. The coolest part about this is that these provider native tools are interchangeable. So as we play, I will bring in Anthropic's memory tool, for instance, to help the model keep notes on previous games, tracking mistakes, pattern, and strategies, so that over time it actually gets better at beating me, all while staying fully typed and easy to use with LangChain.js. Let's check it out. Now, if we take a look into the Anthropic docs, we will find a whole section on tool use with Claude. In here, we will find all the native supported provider tools that Anthropic provides. Tools like the Bash tool, the text editor tool, or the web search tool. And all these tools already have been possible to use with Langchain. You were always able to pass in this raw object into your bind tools method or into the create agent in order to use them. But with the new Anthropic and OpenAI provider packages, uh, you now have a new tools primitive that you can directly import from these packages. This tools primitive has registered a bunch of tool actions that you can use to register your tool. For instance, for the web search tool, in order to give your agent access to the internet to, and capabilities to search on the internet, all you need to do is to pass in the, the web search tool return type to your tools array and give extend your agent this way. Now we have the same tools enabled in the same way for Anthropic, as well as if you look into the Python provider packages. Now there are two different types of these native provider tools. There are tools like Web Search that actually run on the provider side. So there's no actually like request doing, being done in your application. The Web Search entirely happens on the Anthropic side of things. But there are other tools like the computer use tools that actually are trained to be used by the model perfectly, but the implementation is happening in your agent application. So in order to use a computer use tool, you call the computer use function and you pass in the properties that you want to use the tool with, as well as an execute method. That execute method creates the actual tool that is being triggered whenever the model decides to call that tool. And in, term, in case of the computer use tool, you will get an action that defines which action the, to, the model wants to take. Actions like taking a screenshot, doing a left click, or scroll on the application. Now you are responsible for yourself to implement that automation yourself. You can use tool like WebDriver.io or tools like Playwright to do so. Now, if you look into one basic example, we have an agent that answers us uh, arbitrary questions. And I'm curious to know how Bayern Munich played in the last Champions League game. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run that example without any tools. So the model probably doesn't know which Champions League game I'm referring to. So it will give me a, a result and an answer, something like I don't have access to real-time information. Now, if I which is the web search tool that I imported from the Anthropic provider package. You can see that if I run the agent now, the agent is now able to do the research on the API side. So with that, the agent will give me actual information that Bayern Munich won the last Champions League game against Sporting Lissabon. Now I played around with a bunch of tools and one tool that I found particularly interesting was the computer use tool. I maintained a bunch of browser automation tools out there and I found this interesting because I just can hook up a WebDriver.io, which is a popular Node.js automation framework in order to automate my browser. And I wanted it to allow me to play tic-tac-toe against that model. So I built a little tic-tac-toe game that is a two-player multi -game, multiplayer game that allows to play tic-tac-toe against the component. And I wanted the computer use model, or I wanted the Anthropic model to use the computer use tool to play tic-tac-toe against me. 
Now, I implemented an example of that in this tic-tac-toe repository. And you can see that I create an agent passing in a computer use tool, a tool that allows the agent to define when the game has ended, as well as a memory tool. I wanted the agent to remember things that happen in the game, take notes of that, and be better in the next game. And that memory tool is also a provider native tool to Entropic. I then registered a context editing middleware. Every time the model takes an action, like clicking uh, in the browser, it takes a screenshot to know how the application has updated. Now, this, these screenshots are base64 encoded screenshots that take a lot of space in my context window. And with just a couple of turns, this context window would explode and would throw me an error. Uh, so I used the clear tool use edit strategy to basically get rid of previous screenshots that the agent has taken. And then I invoke the agent to first review its memory, if it has any. It will store the memories in this memories directory. And then I will start the gameplay. The tools are implemented in the following way. I call the tools.computer use tool, which registers the tool in my agent. And then I implement how the actual automation is happening. So I'm using WebDriver.io to automate my browser. I initiate a remote session and I open the tic tac go to go game in the browser. Now, once the browser is open, you know, for different actions, I take different automations. For a screenshot, I just take a screenshot. Uh, if I want to do a left click, I use the perform actions interface of the WebDriver.io package to perform an action clicking on a specific pixel area in the browser. And that you can do with all the commands. This is very easy to vibe code away, so you don't have to spend much time to get this up and running. Now let's play a game. If I run the example, the first thing that's happened again, it will review past memories. So I cleared up the memory directory, so there will be no memories available. But you will see once we play the first game, it will update that memory. So now the first thing that happens is open up the browser, and I do nothing, and the, the model took the first action. It put the X right in the middle. And so I'm gonna now play with the model. You can see on the right side the coordinates that the model is clicking on. And so it takes the next turn, and I just gonna play along until we're done with the game. I think I dodged a bullet there. I should have, I could have easily won this game. Now it's, we will see if the model detects that I'm almost about to win this game, it didn't saw the chance, and I won. So let's see if the model actually now understands that it did a big mistake and puts that into its notes. And surprisingly enough, all these computer models are able to understand the tic-tac-toe game, but they're really bad at playing it. So if I go back into my IDE, I now say that the game has ended, and now the model automatically creates memories about the game history. It Put out, it puts out the critical mistakes. We can see here, after O took top right, move four, and already had bot bottom right, move two, I didn't recognize the column thread. So it, it actually understands the, the problems and mistakes it did. It puts some notes on component pa opponent patterns, as well as makes some notes on strategy. So now it automatically restarts the game and it reviews these memories before it starts. So it, it's, it's a little bit better now playing this game in the second turn. It now starts in the middle. Uh, I just go continue with the X in the same approach. Let's see if the model does the same mistake again. Oh, it actually cleared it. It cleared the game again because it the model knows it starts with an X in the middle. Uh, that was part of the system prompt, in fact. And so the game is restarted and we we're going to play along this time. And I will just do the same interaction again to see if the model just understands the threat here again and knows now to, to do a better call on this one. So we see, there we go. It now learned the threat and I could just continue to play. So this time the game ends in a draw. And we will see how the model now updates its memory patterns. It will do that again before it ends the game. So the game ended in a draw and it now has updated its game memory. We have now one loss and one draw from the agent perspective. It updated its second game 
how it turned out and how it finished it. There was apparently no critical mistakes. It updated its opponent patterns for the game too, as well as updated the strategy. And it recognized that taking the center first is a strong move. Awesome, that was fun. It was really interesting to see how the model started playing tic-tac-toe really bad, then taking notes and becoming better and better over time. I played a bunch of more games and the last remaining games all ended in a draw. It's really cool that OpenAI and Anthropic and other providers provide these native capabilities to the agent that are now really accessible through the new tools primitives in LangChain.js. We've updated the docs to have you understand how you can use all these native provider tools easily in your agent application. Uh, they are available in our Python packages as well as in our JavaScript packages. I also uploaded the tic-tac-toe example fully uh, on GitHub. So you can check it out down below and play against OpenAI or Entropic yourself. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.